And welcome back to Hannity and Combs. Uh, this was the scene at the Boston College commencement ceremony earlier today when students displaying anti-war messages turned their backs on Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice when she accepted an honorary degree. Our cameras were on campus during this protest. Having Condoleezza Rice here um, just misrepresents everything um, that we've been taught here at Boston College. She has compromised her own um, values as a human being and not standing up to the injustices that have happened um, in Iraq, in Guantanamo Bay. Um, I do not think she's a good representative as anyone, especially as a commencement speaker. Based on lies, every ten minutes, somebody dies in this war. She's a warmonger and a liar and uh, unrepentant, and she's, uh, you know, she should, we should be giving her a subpoena today for war crimes and crimes against humanity, not not an honorary degree. She's going to be celebrated for being a cultured, sophisticated, musically talented, uh, uh, you know, enlightened individual, and um, she's just as responsible for uh, lying and uh, uh, in, in terms of laying out the architecture for the war. And this is certainly a great dishonor and we're here to say how dishonored we feel as Catholics and I'm sure the Jesuits many feel similarly. All of her education was in vain. She didn't learn any morals along the way. She didn't learn any restraint. She didn't develop a respect for the rule of law and respect for the sovereignty of other countries. Joining us now, Steve Almond. He resigned his position as an adjunct professor of English at Boston College when Secretary Rice was invited to campus. Uh, welcome aboard, sir. Thanks for being with us. Steve, uh, I guess it's fairly obvious you probably voted for John Kerry in the last election. So uh, politics play any role in your position here? I think actually morality play, plays a role. I just feel public officials shouldn't lie to us, especially about matters that are important as a war. I got that, but, but you are politically a Democrat. You're politically left. You voted for John Kerry, right? I, I believe that politicians shouldn't lie to the American people. I didn't ask you that. Did I, you vote for John Kerry, sir? I, I'm telling you that I don't believe that our public officials should lie. I got Democrat, that. You're a broken record. Now, this is a simple or, question. Do you, did you vote for John Kerry? I don't see what it has to do with Condoleezza Rice. I'll tell you what it has to do with it. To the American public. I'll explain it to you. To if with? you would give me an honest answer, I can explain why. Did you vote for John <laughs> Kerry? What is it that you want to say to me? You, you want to try to establish that I'm a lefty or a Democrat? No, I believe I, the public I'll tell you officials should lie. I already lie. know you Condoleezza voted for Rice John Kerry, but you won't admit it. Repeatedly. But you don't have to. I'll tell you why. Because John Kerry, in the lead up to this very war, in your letter, where you yes. say, in an effort to build the case for war, then National Security Advisor Rice repeatedly asserted that Iraq was pursuing a nuclear program. Well, I'll quote John Kerry, the guy that I suspect you voted for. He says, if you don't believe Saddam is a threat with nuclear weapons or WMDs, you shouldn't vote for me. Is the guy that you voted for a liar? The Secretary of State, who has uh, also been a part of prosecuting this war... All right, you can't even answer a question. Is John Kerry yes. a liar? Let me, let me jump in here. Steve, it's, I don't care whether you voted for Kerry or not, but it's Condoleezza Thank Rice you. who's setting It's a matter policy. of morality. Not, every, let, not everything let, is let politics. Let me pursue a different Some line of, of question here, Steve. Morality. It's Alan. I'm on, I'm on your side politically. But I, I, I think there might be better ways to protest. Why quit your job? Why not turn your back or speak well, or hold a protest rally or, or hold mm -hmm. a, an alternate ceremony uh, to put sure. forth your point of view? Why not do it that way? Well, there, there are plenty of ways to. For me, uh, you know, I, it was an act of conscience. I didn't want to collect a paycheck. It would be as if you worked at a TV station, for instance, and you were a strong advocate for women's rights, and one of your colleagues, a powerful colleague, uh, sexually harassed his employees and you didn't want to stand for that you didn't feel the uh, TV station had done enough to punish him and you might as a matter of conscience resign because of that I might or I might use my platform to speak out or I might do things behind the scenes to speak out that have nothing to do sure. with what I would do publicly but you sure. chose to quit and I just wonder if there might be a more effective way to put forth your point of view which I think is a very valid point of view whether you're left or right, it's not relevant, but there might be better ways to, to get that point across. Well, I'm, I don't think I'm really the issue here. I think Condoleezza Rice and her campaign of deception and this administration's prosecution of an immoral war is the issue. There are no WMDs so far, unless you got them there at Fox News under your desk. And we've been hearing for 
over three years and uh, coming up on 20,000 casualties, and the American people are getting right. sick of it. You know what? If that's the case, and I suspect I'm right and you voted for Kerry, you voted for a guy that made the exact same case as she did, what would that make you? Uh, Thanks. I'm sorry. The, the administration in power right, is the you, one that has gotten us into this mess. Okay, You're not going to blame it on Kerry. You're not going to blame it on Clinton.